your ass out of here like I've been telling you. This is what my mom is saying. I've been telling your ass for a long time now to leave here. And you just been staying there because you got those children there. But you're going to have to understand something. You're going to have to do what, what I tell you to do. Because if you don't, you're going to go down with everybody else. So I guarantee you, I'm getting my ass out of here. I've been, I've been waiting long enough for everyone to wake up and do something wise. But it's just not going to happen. I, I told those people down there at the risk prevention. I said, I wouldn't have told them. I said, now listen. What you guys don't know is I told that guy about two weeks before that shit hit Indiana and Illinois and Ohio. I went and talked to him. Because I, they, when the guy hit my bike and I found out about that risk management, risk prevention, that's when I went in there and I told him. Because the universe told me, he said, you go tell him. And I went and told that guy in there. I said, look, man, the universe been talking to me and it's going to destroy Seattle if you guys don't start doing right. And, you know, the universe wants you to give me this much money so I can start doing the stuff necessary to feed these people build some shelters and do all the stuff that this universe has given us all of this sustainment on the earth and you guys are hoarding it you just hoarding everything like you think you got a right to just sit around and make people starve and don't be anything people I was in Portland the other day they built a little tent thing downtown Portland I saw it yesterday so I was riding by on my bike and I saw the thing it's next to the um, Portland rescue mission so I went over there to talk to the people. I said, hey man, how you doing? It was a white guy. He was out cleaning up, sweeping and shit. I said, how you doing, man? He said, I'm doing good, bro. So don't think that I hate white people, because I don't. And I don't hate white men, because most of the help that I've had all my life came from white men. Even though I talk bad about the power structure, I've had a lot of white men that I meet. Like the one I just told you about, Mike, that he, he used to show up like, I, when it was really, really cold and my ass was eating, because them food stamps only last so long, you know, and I'm not going out here begging nobody for no damn job, go slave for your ass every day, be treated like shit, just to get enough money to pay, when I knew I'm just going to stay in this house this winter, and when the weather get better, I'm getting my ass out of here, you know what I'm saying, you know, and because you know what, I'm going to tell you the truth, there is nothing anywhere that's not somewhere else. So everything that's here, I can find somewhere else. Well, maybe I can't find that that woman somewhere else. I know how unique and special she is to herself. But the thing about it is, I'm not going to be sitting around nowhere where I'm not doing well because I'm trying to get something. You understand? If you're not doing well somewhere and you stay there not doing well because it's something there that you want, chances are that you are going to do yourself a misjustice because if that is meant to be for you no matter where you are at it should be able to materialize so what I'm saying is this I can stay here in this town and do everything necessary to get my shit running I'm a very wise man I can go do a bunch of shit to provide for self you see that's not my purpose for being here on this earth All right. My purpose of being on this earth is to fix the earth. That means that I don't fix the earth by just taking care of myself. That's what everyone else on the earth is doing. That's why it's so destroyed. Understand? My job is to fix the earth. That's why I brought those UFOs with me. That's why I'm even watching. You can see when this state gets torn the fuck up, everybody else is going to understand how important it is to listen to a sorry because they're not going to want that for they stay now Colorado done already been destroyed not all of it we'll be back there but enough where you would think people will start paying attention no so see it's obvious to us that we got to do something really big so I'm telling them you should destroy a whole state and you should destroy a state that gets targeted and warned to the people that that's going to happen because now once that happened and then people see it they want to sit around and be stuck on stupid again, just do another one. And then if they want to be stuck on stupid again, just do another one. Eventually their ass will be wiped out. And I don't just mean white people. I mean the whole conglomerate of everyone who want to follow that religious dogma stupid shit. You see people sleeping on the damn curb, under trees, all this homelessness on the earth. And for some reason there's not enough people on the earth to all put their heads together and we fix this problem. 
the universe did not create homeless circumstances. The Europeans did. By pouring concrete every goddamn where. And taking away the natural shelters that was given to... If all the trees and everything wouldn't have got cut down, that mean there'd be more birds, there would be more flowers, there would be more sustainment everywhere. You can't eat concrete and you cannot eat steel. And things cannot grow and regenerate on concrete and steel. So these people that are the aliens that came to this earth and deliberately destroyed it by pouring concrete every damn where and cutting down all the trees have set up a circumstance where they turned the ecology of this earth into an economy for them and they're eating the people so they putting us all in small areas where they can keep an eye on us and eating us putting us in their prisons and housing us all right making us have certain stuff put in our food where when you eat it it make you a better appetizer for the damn graves or the Iberus or whatever they plan on eating your ass. And then you got to be on the planet with a bunch of dumb ass people who wants to sit up and pray to a damn picture of some dead white man. They're like, that's going to answer all your damn problems when you got people on the earth eating your ass. It's disgusting to know that people could be that damn stupid. It really is. So, you know... I wanted to say all these last good things to you guys before I bounce. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be moving away. I'm going to probably Chicago. Yes, I said Chicago. Because I like Chicago. Because it's a fun city. And because I have work there to do. There's people there that must be killed. And I'm going there to supervise the job myself. Because as soon as I get those assholes out of Illinois and Indiana and Ohio and Michigan, which I plan on doing a lot of this summer, once those bastards are dead, you're going to see a whole lot of things start to get different. Because I'm killing the power structure. They think they're going to just live over here all in Israel, all up in Germany, all up in Russia, all up in France. I know where the ISIS are at, and I'm going to destroy all that shit. You watch what happens with all these tornadoes. Just watch what happens. And if you guys were smart up here, you'd move. You would. I'm warning you. Because it's getting ready to go down. I'm just letting you all know. That water is going to... I wrote, you know, I made a... Uh, a video about two months ago I didn't even put it up because I didn't want to because it the universe showed me just how it's going to destroy Seattle I could tell you I already know it's going to bring that water up from underground it's not going to be coming in as a tsunami or hurricane type of thing what's gonna happen is you see these sinkholes that's popping up everywhere? They're going to make a sinkhole. Two of them. And when these sinkholes open up, they're going to go under the soil to the water that's encapsulated in the earth and create a vacuum that's going to suck the water up through the holes and push it north. So instead of the water coming in, well, I'm going to tell you how it's going to happen before it happens. Instead of the water coming in, from the ocean over this over the what the water walls and retain the walls is gonna come up through the middle of the city through a sinkhole that's gonna open up and let that water is it already shows you an indication of that when Seattle flooded they showed you the water shooting up from underground right there just a while back when I told you guys that Seattle was going to flood they gave you a small sample of it I told you guys that the Dallas was going to catch on fire. That shit burnt up. See, everything I say to you guys come true and you're so damn stupid. You don't listen to the God man saw. But when I get through Rocky Seattle, you're going to know the next time to listen. And that's just why I'm getting my shit together so I can get the hell up out of here. I'm not staying here begging for no jobs to pay no high ass rent and then work there for four months and have to go through some bullshit. You end up getting fired. I'm going in pursuit of stronger, making stronger my spirituality. And I can't do it here. With all this 
shit that's here everywhere you go is alcohol tobacco drugs 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 every person that you try to have a relationship with here in this city are drug addicts every freaking one everyone and you don't have any centers that you can go to and find your kind of worship because it's not here everything that's here is worship of the dead white man and that's why everybody is drug addicts because it's not doing anything for people at all all these young kids taking all these drugs all the damn time that's all they do that's all they freaking do and I see it you white people have the worst drug abusing children of everyone you, you think that because the media tell you about black people smoking crack that the biggest problem in America as far as drug use is black people with crack I got, I got news for you no it's not it's these white kids that are doing crack crank ice tobacco alcohol weed and all these new drugs they're coming out with all type of shit you know and every time you look around it's just one drug after the other and then you know that when you have children if you have children that's the only thing out here in this world for them is for them to all get stuck on these white man vices drugs alcohol promiscuity okay these stupid school um, gimmicks to get you in debt before you you know this it's a damn shame they want you to go and get in hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt to go to college so you can have a job now what kind of shit is that why does a person have to go in debt one hundred thousand dollars to be able to just get a job a hundred thousand dollar debt should be because you started your own business now it's ridiculous that you could owe a hundred thousand dollars just because you wanted to get educated enough to be able to make a living for yourself so they've set up circumstances where anything or everything that is an avenue for people to make a living for themselves or eat or whatever they got their hands in it and they're greedy and selfish and they're going to overprice you on everything okay so I'm just being honest with you all so you can know um, I'm going to be getting my shit together I'm not going to be trying to mislead anyone because I, I know for a fact that what happens with what I say is really important and you all might not want to believe that but I'm just telling you the truth these UFOs are going to destroy Seattle and possibly this whole state of Washington because it's all about getting everyone's attention and then you know this this Jesus bullshit is gonna stop there is no white man out there that's God and you guys are not going to keep walking around on this earth perpetuating your hatred and your racial superiority through all these wars and trying to kill everybody off the planet or incarcerate everyone. All this stupid, horrible shit that you guys have done. I just want you to know that the universe knows that you have done it. And the universe knows <coughs> that you guys are going to be punished for doing it. Okay? And, um, yeah, I just want you all to know that. That... It's coming. Get ready. Alright, I'm in. Get ready because uh, the universe is going to rock that ass. Because she is so tired of all it. This is going to do it right here. That's that. That's that is going to do it. Her. Right there. Her and my mother saying that. It's going to get that ass. Trust me on that. Because they are. And I know that I um, did a lot, everything that I could to try to convince everyone here. And you know, it's really sad because there's some really, really beautiful people that live here. And I really know that. I do. And that's why I'm saying to everyone, if it take a year or two years or six months, whatever it take, be wise. And get out of this area. All right. All of you young people 